Geminis are givers. Yes. Um, they very much know how to use their hands, like mm. especially a Gemini. Mm. Mars. Ooh. Mm. Lord. Let me tell you. Let me Lord. tell you. Uh, Lord. Let me tell you. Like a Gemini, <laughs> Mars be doing right. things because truly it's the art of the hands for them. Uh huh. And uh, mm. I'm talking about a massage turning into something more. Like, like uh -huh. you, just, you just never really know what those hands are gonna do. What they gonna do? Yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome to our channel. I'm Maya. And Sarah. And we are charmed and dangerous. Because you know we're charming. Oh, and we be dangerous. And we be dangerous. And sometimes we be a little freaky and a little freak nasty. A little freaky, a little freaky. freaky. But we be talking about <laughs> the freaky people up in the bedroom. In the zodiac. Yes. All right. Okay. Sign that you picked for <laughs> top freakiest in the bedroom. Well, the first sign that I picked is actually Capricorn. Oh, um, yes. You know, I feel like Capricorn is the perfect person to release some frustration, mm. some sadness, some anger, mm. some mm -hmm. sub dom play. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they just feel the need to showcase their power. Oh, yeah. And no matter what situation in it, they're in, but in the bedroom, I feel like they really, really do prove themselves. <laughs> To be the giver. <laughs> yes. Because I feel like they're the taker in life. Yes. Because they be taking opportunities, mm -hmm. you know, when they're taking your time, you know? Mm -hmm. But like in the bedroom, I feel like they really want to give. Yes. Listen, <laughs> Capricorn is a hard worker and they are ambitious, okay? <laughs> and they are ambitious and hardworking to make sure that you are pleased to, yeah. I feel like, in the bedroom. Uh, they're you know? working they for you. They want to work for you. They are providers. They Literally. want to provide that orgasm for they you. They want to be the best too. You yes. know what I mean? Like 100%. they hundred percent. They just they feel the need to again show themselves. Like no matter what Capricorn does, they do it well. Yes. And I feel like that also plays into their their dynamic in the bedroom. Uh-huh. Um and I feel like it can really go both ways. Like they really will be the one that's more dominant and like kind of on some like Christian Grey <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, or because of how much control they have in every aspect of their life, they feel the need to be submissive uh -huh. to their partner, whoever yes, it is, yeah, um, in the bedroom. If they feel comfortable around yeah, them, obviously. Yeah, 100%. But also maybe if they don't, maybe they'd be going to these like clubs or whatever. Right. And they want to get and their dick stomped on. Like you never for, know. It's easy for them sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, when there's no emotions involved. But yes, I love that you're highlighting. I feel like Capricorns to me are like one of the freakiest because they love a power play moment. Yeah. They, they really do, whether yeah. that's them being the dominant one or like you said, them being the submissive one like yeah. they just like that play in the bedroom the the other thing I want to say about Capricorn why I picked them is to me like yes they're known for like their discipline and self-control and to me that makes them like patient and build up the tension in the bedroom as well too yeah you know yeah no, for sure um <laughs> Say something without like you demonetizing <laughs> us, but like let's say okay. So I'm gonna play it off as like if I'm talking about like eating candy. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you you're with your partner mm -hmm. and you know there's candy in front of you. Like mm -hmm. both of you are gonna get candy at some point, <laughs> but you tell your partner like you can't have your candy yet mm -hmm. even though you're like building it up for them to have their candy and i feel like that's something capricorn loves yeah like edging a little bit um and that's yeah. why they're Which so is good hot to some people yeah and that's why i feel like they're so good with like that dominatrix type exactly stuff literally you know because uh -huh. they know how to kind of dangle the carrot in front of you like yeah you want this literally literally <laughs> literally <laughs> <laughs> Next sign I picked for one of the freakiest is Gemini. I feel like Geminis are very playful and curious in general, and that transfers into the bedroom mm. as well. They're very open to trying new things and experimenting mm -hmm. in there. I also picked Gemini because they are very um, vocal and communicative, mm -hmm. and so I feel like they are very much about like that sexy talk. Yeah, you know that. Um, 
foreplay verbally. Right. You know, they're very good at that. Phone sex game, probably the best. On point. Probably on point. Yeah. Right? And lastly, I just feel like Geminis are very like versatile in the bedroom. And so they don't necessarily want to stay in like one position always. Yeah. Like, you know, we kind of know them to be busy bodies, so they be moving with their hands and like flexing all over and it's very exciting. <laughs> Again, Geminis are givers. Yes. Um, they very much know how to use their hands. Like, mm. Especially a Gemini mm. Mars. Ooh. Mm. Lord. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me Lord. tell you. Oh, Lord. Let me tell you. Like a Gemini <laughs> Mars be doing Lord. things because Truly, it's the art of the hands for them. Uh huh. And mm. I'm talking about a massage turning into something more. Like, uh -huh. like you, just, you just never really know what those hands are gonna do. What they gonna do? Yeah. Where they gonna like, too? No, you really Ooh. don't. And it can be very pr playful, like Maya said. And then it will all of a sudden take, take a little bit of a switcheroo. And you're uh -huh. like, well, how did this get so hot? Like, yes. how how did we get here? <laughs> um, and I feel like they're really fun because you can play role play yeah because Gemini's are oh, such yes. social creatures who mm -hmm. love to communicate like they would love to just pick up someone else's story and yes. like for you to be someone else and you guys can just play together pretend you don't know each other so oh my like tell gosh. me some more facts about you, you yes know? oh my gosh Let's, again edge each other but like verbally yes I actually love that. It reminds me of a Modern Family episode. You know when um, they randomly meet up in a bar and act like oh they're together? Oh my god, yes! Geminis would be so down so for that down. shit. So and down. if you have a Gemini lover and you haven't done that, like you should do that with them. No. I feel like they'd be so hot for it. No, they, they, they really <laughs> would. And I just love them also because they're such good teases. Yes. They love to tease oh and be teased. Like yes. they will take it and they will give it and they, like they won't get offended. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas like I think certain signs in the zodiac, like they get a little bit angry or disappointed when it mm -hmm. doesn't happen fast enough. Mm -hmm. And I think the best candy eating is, <laughs> is when um, you guys are patient and kind of building up to it totally. and you get to play a little bit mm -hmm. and all three of the signs I picked and I think yours too like they're really good at that mm -hmm. they're good at playing the game uh-huh they're not just like let's just get it over with like what you mean let's just get it over with right they know about the foreplay they know how to set a mood yeah, okay and that's very key to being comfortable to doing to trying a new candy absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for my next sign, I picked Taurus. You know, Taurus is on that axis with Scorpio, so I definitely feel like they are very sensual beings, mm -hmm. and they are really good at candy eating, and <laughs> they're really good at sex. No. <laughs> I feel like Taurians, I don't feel, I know Taurians have a lot of control issues, and I think through the act of sex, they are able to kind of release those control issues. Yeah. And they honestly just feel comfortable to show their weird freaky side, you know? They <laughs> yeah. And they definitely have that because they hold back a lot in everyday life. Mm -hmm. Like, they are the definition of a lady in the streets. A and a freak in the, the streets. Sheets. You yes. know what I mean? Like, yes. they don't want nobody to know that they get down like that. They don't want anybody to know that they're trying every new candy what? in the store. Right, but and they every are. new place. So they are, and I'm not talking they're going out here eating all the candy. I mean that like <laughs> they will try any candy, they're excited about candy, mm -hmm. they need candy after every meal, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. You know? Yes. And can I say about um, Torians, I feel like, you know, they are versatile in the sense that, you know, they are down to eat candy anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they will do it in some freaky places. Yeah, because they don't, <laughs> like, they're such homebodies, but yes. when it comes to the act of candy eating, they are willing to kind That's when of, they kind of branch exactly. out of their little exactly. shell. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I genuinely feel like, I mean, I think everyone in the world, Maya's, Maya knows this, whenever someone's rude to me, or they're mean, or they're just overall an annoying person to be around, I'm like, they don't get enough candy. <laughs> like, facts. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because you need to get candy. It's uh -huh. like, why are you so angry all the time? Mm -hmm. So I, I feel that. like, Stand you know, with Tauruses, they have such control issues. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's oh, why they, they should express themselves in, you know, in their sexuality. Because if they don't, they won't have 
they, they really won't have a way of releasing it. No, you're so right. And I'm actually very happy that you picked Taurus because they truly are the happiest when they are allowed when they feel they're allowed to let that freak flag fly. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because they are such sensual, sexual beings. Yeah. You know, they want to be like Venus touching you wants up to in do you. it. You know? Venus loves to love that physical yeah. touch yeah. to do it. Yeah. yeah. Loves that physical touch. <laughs> they do. You know, but Taurus, uh, because they're earth people, people think they're reserved and while they are reserved when they are with their lover, they want to touch and be touched at mm -hmm. all times. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Mm. Mm. Let's last. talk about sex, baby. Let's, Let's talk about you and me. I mean, at least. <laughs> <laughs> most. The most. Best. <laughs> the freakiest. <laughs> the Scorpio. <laughs> the Scorpio. The Scorpio. Okay, obviously, Scorpios are known to be that passionate, intense lover. Yeah. In the bedroom. And I really like Scorpio because they aren't afraid to take the lead, you know? There's a lot of people who would be down to try these sexual things, and Scorpio's like, here, honey. It's so let funny me, that you say take. Let me teach you. As if it was ever. <laughs> to anybody else. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Other people can have it. But truly, Scorpio feels comfortable with that power mm -hmm. in life and in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Um, again, I think it is very similar with Taurus in the sense that it is unleashing all that pent up energy mm -hmm. and emotion, which is why it translates so strongly in the bedroom. Yeah. Um, Scorpio is known to be the alchemist of the Zodiac. So imagine what they will do when they use their emotions to tap into your energy <laughs> and your soul and fulfill you emotionally. Oh like when someone <laughs> understands you like a Scorpio does emotionally, mm -hmm. How can that experience in the bedroom not be soul awakening? 1000%. <laughs> we always say, you know, you feel like the best sexual experiences you have is when you feel really close to someone. Yeah. And I can always say, you know, like the Scorpio people that I've been with, I had felt really close to them. So yeah. I always do, unfortunately, remember those experiences with them yeah. because of how closely I felt with them at that time, yeah. you know? And I feel that's how a lot of people experience Scorpio as well. They're like, I have such this intense feeling for you. And then when you put it on me too, like, oh my God, like I yeah. will do anything to please you because of how safe and comfortable you make me feel. Like I'm open to exploring anything with you. Exactly. You know, and exactly. that's like a crazy power it to have. have. It really is. I mean, people will do the craziest <laughs> things. They will tell you the craziest of things, it, craziest of things in the bedroom. Yes. When they feel comfortable with you outside of the bedroom. Yes. And exactly. uh, it, it's crazy because you know Scorpio. Um, everyone. It's crazy because the term soul ties. It like became a thing, mm -hmm, even though it's mm -hmm. been a thing. But you know how social media does it. Everyone yeah, yeah. all of a sudden is like, "What's that? Oh my god, twin flame! Oh my god, soul ties!" Right. <laughs> and like when I think of Scorpio you know, sex, I think of like that soul tie exchange. Mm -hmm. Cause for Scorpio, while some of these Scorpio men's be whores <laughs> and they be giving it out, like it, for a lot of Scorpios, it means a lot for us to exchange sexual energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like when that's happening, yeah, you're seeing like a raw part of each other and Scorpio understands that and respects that. Yeah. For a lot of people they say it's, it's just sex. For Scorpio it's not just sex. No. Yeah. And you know, sexual energy is actually very like And I'm not saying it's healing. love either. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I have to say that. I'm not saying it's for always sure. love. But like it and when it's love it's amazing, but sometimes mm -hmm. it's like just sex. But the sex is just so intense. Yes, and it can feel like healing energy, you yeah. know, strong sexual, sexual energy, energy is, is healing energy. very healing, you know, and I can say that for all the signs that we talked about today, you know, like they all have their own power of how they can really heal you and, and provide for you, yeah. you know, like I think Scorpio obviously, again, to me is one of the top because of how confident they are and because of that emotional tie. You know, I feel like the, some of the other signs, not Taurus, but at least to me, like Gemini and Capricorn, they don't necessarily have to have that emotional attachment. You know, like they it don't. can be just as fun for them, maybe even better for them if it isn't emotionally yeah. attached at times, right? But that's not Truly. necessarily the case for, for Scorpio. Truly. And, you know, I do want to talk about kind of the negative 
effects of the power that Scorpio has when it comes to sex because mm. I do think they exist and mm -hmm. because Scorpio you know we can be so comfortable with our sexuality and you know just with the power that we can uphold when we feel a certain attraction with someone I, I think sometimes toxic Scorpios can use that magnetism and that power to you know again make people feel so comfortable in the bedroom when you guys are eating candy together mm. <laughs> and then the person will think that there's something there because you have literally given them the type of attention that nobody else has given them in a bedroom before yeah. but for you you're not taking them seriously mm -hmm. i'm not saying everyone but toxic scorpio for sure when they're at that low vibration they're using that sexual energy to manipulate people mm -hmm. and to make them feel like they're closer to you than they actually are mm -hmm. and then you're out here damaging souls because they're looking for you with the other people that they you know take to the candy shop <laughs> and you know it's just it's fucked up so like be careful be careful who you exchange sexual soul ties with and that's yes. for everybody 1000 percent. i feel like because scorpio is so comfortable with it they get themselves in a lot of trouble <laughs> yeah and they tend to be i feel like the the biggers, the bigger, the biggers, the biggest heartbreakers in the sense too when it comes to it just because again of that emotional yeah. tie that they may not always feel with you but you definitely have with them. Yeah. Oh lord. Jeez. Alerty! Lord. And <laughs> honestly Whenever I think of Scorpios and I and this topic, like it makes me think of something uh, that we experienced when we were in a park one day at Dolores. There was this man who came up to you. Oh God, I know this story. <laughs> and he called Sarah liquid sex, and it was just the most. I was just sitting there minding my business. Just this Scorpio energy thing, because yes, Scorpios are liquid sex. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, sexy people, candy loving people. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for kicking it with your girls while we talk about the top freakiest mm -hmm. signs in the Freak bedroom. Nasty. Let us know if you agree with any of them. And obviously, I feel like Mars signs have a lot to do with this too. Yes. You know what I mean? So, like, sure. if you feel like, well, you know, I know this person and like, well, they're not that sign, but they're like the best in the bedroom. Check out that Mars yes, sign. And I want to give a special them. shout out to Virgo Mars. Not Virgos, yes. but Virgo Mars. Yes. They be freaking dicky, baby. Um, yeah, but you know, we, kinky, we're probably going to have a whole Mars <laughs> sign series at some point. Yes. Um, again, thanks for chilling with us. We love you guys so, so, so much. So Don't much. forget to follow us on our socials. Mm -hmm. Have a beautiful week. Bye. Bye. Yay. Yay.